Wonderful football moment, wasn't it? Wonderful call too, it must be said by Anthony Hudson. But Carlton would love their time again. Kane Corns, you're watching it closely. The Blues, they let that one go, didn't they? They did, Hutchie. It's easy to highlight the final stages when there's mistakes made right throughout the course of the game. But it's a learning experience for Carlton as we roll some vision in the last two minutes. Cunningham, he just love him to hit Levi Casbolt there. Look at the time. If there's an uncontested mark there, Levi takes 30 seconds off the clock with a shot for goal now. It's inches, isn't it? And Zach Butters saves the day. This one here, you get the uncontested mark, Gibbons. Look at the time, 50 seconds. You've got the ball. Game over here. You've got to find another uncontested mark to take further time off the clock. What he does do prematurely, I think, goes long down the line. Now, this isn't a disaster, but it is if you let the opposition mark the ball. Carlton's tools there. There's three of them. Fitnet's in there, Mackay's in there. You've got to bring that ball to ground. And then Port Adelaide are away. Get up on the mark here. Cripps does the right thing. Butters goes back. wittering has got his put his fist through this ball, send it over the boundary line, set up for a stoppage. He misses the spoil. Look at uh, look, look at his, his there. You've got to put pressure on that kick going inside 50 and then Plowman had an absolute nightmare on Robbie Gray in the last quarter. So it's easy to highlight the final stages of that quarter. But there's some of the mistakes the Blues made that cost them the game. Corns, I love when a player makes a statement. And uh, Charlie Dixon has done that over the off-season. You highlighted his body and, and what he's done with it. And I just love how it's going out there on the field. And I don't think there's any more damaging or commanding player in the game at the moment. In terms of key position, there's no other player that's doing this at the moment. And I just want to highlight his body use. And I want to highlight a player who could watch some Charlie Dixon vision of how, he, how hard he's working off the ball to re- protect the ball drop of where it's going. I haven't seen Liam Jones monstered like this in a long, long time. He made him look like a schoolboy. This was the one I loved, just the push-off. So I'm going to have a little bit of a freeze here. Here's pushed him, and watch where Liam Jones ends up. Just wrong-footed, back foot. He just couldn't cope with it. And I just wanted to show where Ben Brown could get to as a footballer, because I think Ben Brown is, uh, you know, just getting under the footy far too much. And I think that Ben Brown needs to work at pushing off his opponent's Hutchie. And if he does that, he'll be a far better player for it.